the most dangerous place on the table saw is between the blade and the fence. This is why we use push sticks and blocks. But both of these temporary extensions of our hands are useless if you don't understand the basics of the table saw. Pushing the wood against the fence is just as important or even more important than pushing the stock forward. While riving knives and splitters can help with this, it's incredibly important to make sure you're putting emphasis on this action. Push sticks are great tools, but again, two are needed to keep the stock moving forward as well as against the fence. Because of lateral pressure, creating thin strips between the blade and the fence is incredibly difficult and can be dangerous, which is why I suggest a thin strip jig that runs on the opposite side. Push sticks can get the job done, but making contact with the blades can shatter plastic sticks and create huge kickbacks with wooden ones. While obviously not always possible, that is why I like to have at least one to two inches in this danger zone. I created this push block a few years ago that gives you a slight advantage to pushing the stock against the fence, especially when the stock moves beyond the blade. Find it pinned in the comments. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.